Hey, good morning to you. It's yeah, Friday mutter time. I know I've had a marvellous week doing very little, going out, riding bikes, um, spending some time with Mrs. Tame, of course. Um, but yeah, uh, for me, it's been a very quick week, one which I wish had been longer. Yeah. Um, I hope your week hasn't been too painful if you've been at work and if you're retired um, I, I, I hope you've had <laughs> plenty of time out on your bike yeah uh, anyway en enough of that muttering um, oh, what, one, what I will say is obviously we've got lots of things coming up and the 3rd of September is a cop dog motorbike show of course i'll be there marvelous place um you need to get over and and do it and it is worth the journey so even if you have to stay in bed and breakfast or camp or whatever um well worth doing um it's unusual to see a young lady walking down here um but anyway, yeah, Cop Dock Motorbike Show, marvellous event. Crikey, that's bumpy. Um, yeah, I forgot there's tree roots down here. Um, uh, you need to get there. Yeah, it's not that expensive to get in. Um, and of course, all the big dealers will be there. Yeah, marvellous. Um, and what else have we got um, there is something else on I'll have to remember it yeah so that's the 3rd of September um, yeah anyway on with photos um, and Rob RW yeah he's been out um, met him at the D uh, DGR ages ago but you'll recognise his bike anyway marvellous interceptor and he's been out oh, pardon me and he's been out to I'll wait till this traffic's gone he's been out to Clacton Pier yeah oh marvellous picture look at that oh, uh, hope you had a good time and also at Penny Pier uh, yeah at uh, Harwich who used to sail there and tie up and go and have a breakfast in the calf on the pier there marvellous place um, marvellous pictures marvellous bike marvellous chap yeah uh, also got an email from PGB yeah oh BMW driver using an indicator but uh, an inappropriate place yeah um, yeah PGB um, in anticipation of receiving his sticker he's already he's already superimposed one onto his bikers to see what it'll look like yeah look at that marvellous absolutely marvellous yeah love it well done um, and then what would you get oh JS yeah uh, down in is it Dorset or Devon Sea uh, Town anyway marvellous picture of his XSR 9 yeah marvellous picture marvellous bikes the XSRs yeah so in that category of neo retro neo retro classic I don't know I don't know what you'd call them but you know what I mean um, then what did we get uh, RC of course uh, <laughs> yeah um, you know RC he's got that marvellous bantam but he didn't send a picture of that he's found a giraffe look at this giraffe riding a bush bike it's just marvellous isn't it just incredible what is it with these giraffes 
I don't know. I just don't know. I tell you what, this road is bumpy. And I'm going this way on purpose, believe it or not, even though it's a bumpy. Um, but anyway, I'll explain that after. Um, Northern Optics, Nigel at Northern Optics. Yeah, I used to have a Kawasaki GT750. Look at that. Marvellous couple of pictures. Um, it obviously been digging through the photo album. Yeah, photo album. Now there's a thing. Do you remember that? Yeah. Now we just look on our computers. Yeah, marvellous. Um, uh, CA as well. He's been out on um, on his whiskey fudge T100. That's what it is. I tell you what, I think I've just driven past something. I'm, I'm going to save it and do that on another mutter. Um, but uh, you'll all now be playing back on the video to see what it was that I saw. And I might be wrong, so you could be there looking for ages. Yeah, CA uh, went out. All he could find were these horses. Yeah, still marvellous. And that T100 still looks marvellous as well. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. Um, and then some of, something uh, strange. Yeah, RM. Yeah, he sent us a picture. And you know what? SL also sent me the same picture, but SL mentioned about um, uh, there's no picture of his bike. But he did have, uh, he does have a ZZR 1400, yeah, one of those bikes that goes round in gangs, yeah. Uh, but anyway, RM and SL sent us this, yeah, both of them spotted the same picture from, uh, oh, I don't know where they've got it, but a giraffe cake, I mean, and, and just look at that giraffe's face, so realistic, yeah. Marvellous. Um, also got a picture from RR. Uh, uh. Yeah, he's been out on his 660 course in New Zealand. Winter's coming to an end, so they're all going to start getting out again more, aren't they? Talking of which, um, uh, Aussie biker dude. Yeah. He's, he's, he's gone and got a super meteor, hasn't he? You'll have to go over and have a look at his video. It's marvellous. Um, but yeah. Obviously he's Australian, not New Zealand. Um, but while we're still in New Zealand, IT. Yeah, IT. Uh, I showed some pictures last time. He went to... Um, Wellington and Canterbury. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't show all the pictures and uh, he, while he was at Wellington he went to the home of um, is it that one? I don't know if it's this one I'll go down and have a look I don't think it is yeah I know now I'm getting lost aren't I um, home of New Zealand cricket, yeah, and uh, um, a marvellous venue, look at that, it's just lovely, but he also sent us a picture of, it's definitely not this, definitely not this, so, uh, I reckon I'm over there. Yeah, so <laughs> getting lost on a mutter, that's marvellous, isn't it? Um, uh, they made a, a trophy for, from 81, yeah. Well, Australians did the dirty on them with uh, underarm bowling and what have you. But anyway, they made a mould from the actual cricket ball. And you can tell 
it's a mold the way you've been playing against the Australians, can't you? I mean, just look at the gouges that have been taken out. Yeah, we all know what they do with those balls. We know what you Aussies do with your balls, definitely. So I thought I just thought that made me chuckle when I saw that and the state of that ball. Yeah, marvellous. Um, oh, then oh. I'll tell you what I got before I get off the photos because um, it's this next junction I'm going down um, JL yeah yeah JL um, you know um, Rob Little's mate met him at Super Sausage marvellous chap um, him and Rob have been out to Tetbury, yeah, took these marvellous pictures, uh, couldn't find a giraffe, but found Sean the sheep, yeah, and met the cat, who's quite famous apparently, yeah. Um, and, uh, a picture of Rob and Jeff together, marvellous. Anyway. That's enough of those photos. Um, and like I say, this is uh, a different mutter today um, because obviously I'm, I'm not at work. So I'm going down here and I'm on the hunt for a project bike. And down here is Chameleon Motorcycles and Herbie's Harley's part and they've both got a bike each that I want to look at so hopefully I'll be able to do a video um, and you'll be able to see and they're completely different bikes so it will be interesting yeah um, let me get parked over here Hopefully that'll be out the. W Hopefully that'll be out the way now. Yeah. Oh, listen to that old Harley. Marvelous. Right, ignition off. Side stand down. And so there's Chameleon motorbikes there. All sorts of stuff. Oh, look at that! Try, nice Triumph there. Uh, mainly does repairs. Um, and uh, yeah, Helen Hall. Uh, old Royal Enfield there. Look. Don't know what that one's in for. Well, I say old. It's new. <laughs> uh, look at that little Suzuki. Thought I'd do me. I bet that's just in for repair though. Anyway. I'll get my hat off and I'll catch you in a bit. So, first one, this Triumph Tiger Cub. I mean, look at that. What do you reckon? It's running. Can't get it running today. We haven't got time because they're too busy. Um, bring back some memories. Obviously needs quite a lot doing to it. But it doesn't look too bad, does it? might be worth a punt and bring back some memories when my brother sees it he's gonna go bonkers yeah tested the compression and everything like that seems okay no doubt we'll find lots of bits that are missing but um, seems principally to be there I mean I should imagine just getting the seat done might be expensive but you know, do it slowly, do it one bit at a time. Um, be good fun. Yeah. Just lovely. I love it. Imagine a mutter on that. Marvellous. Uh, so, while I've been talking to Harley and looking at the cub, uh, Chameleon had to go out. Yeah. Um, but... There is another Suzuki Marauder, like that little 125. Um, but in there, there's a GS 
450 yeah so there you go um, but we've got to go so I'll get back on the bike and um, lots of food for thought there is also a triumph sorry there is also a triumph Thunderbird yeah 900 9,000 miles belongs to a chap who's having to give up he's just you know to what uh, same story too old bones fused together stuff stuff like that but it looks immaculate but it is a good price and it's a bit strong for me but <sighs> you never know do you you never know um, so an unusual mutter for you yeah um, just before the weekend um, videos I've watched oh, hell and all yeah um, I'm not really going to have time to go through them right now uh, I would be interested in your thoughts on the Tiger Cup and also on a Suzuki 125 Marauder uh, and of course the GS450 I think I've sort of ruled out the Thunderbird on the grounds that oh, I really haven't got enough money to buy that and it is a little bit rich but it is mint and it's the same colours as Buddy or just about the silver is a different coloured silver, it's more of a goldy silver. Um, yeah, so I am continuing to look at other possibilities as well. Um, I do, as you know, I have an itching for a two stroke, but whether or not I could find one and if I could whether I could find one at a reasonable price but yeah that's this is the life of a time when um, he's not at work <laughs> yeah marvellous um, anyway look it's Friday uh, the weekend is around the corner the weather's a bit up and down but it's probably gonna be all right but take your waterproofs yeah Ta -ta.